one of the first things that I like to do uh, when I get these interceptors is change out the headlight switch for one that has automatic uh, lights so I don't have to keep turning them off and on. Um, so I have the replacement one here. Now, if you wanted to change out the switch uh, panel, it's really easy. You just push down these uh, metal tabs and pop them out uh, and then just pop it in and the plugs are the same. Um, however, I wanna switch out this entire panel because all of my new door panels have this trim on it. That's kind of a carbon fiber-ish look. Um, and so I don't wanna have the color difference. You know, I haven't put the panel on yet uh, up here, um, but it, it will, these will be this color. And so I would just pop this out, but these are plastic welded on. So um, I'm not gonna be able to do that without drilling. I don't really wanna do that either. Um, now, so I'm just gonna do the whole panel. Uh, unfortunately, you know, this one doesn't have any extra buttons down here, but this one did. And this was for the powered trunk option and there was a tow button. Um, so obviously I don't wanna have those holes there. So I have this guy right here. Uh, this is available for sale as well. It's, uh, I think it's like 10 bucks. Um, all this is, is a pressure fit piece. No tools needed. There we go. So uh, all it is is pressure fit in there. And it just uh, acts as a little delete for those buttons. Now you could probably put something in here. Um, but, you know, it's just not a lot of space. And I don't really want to... Uh, deal with it. So that little blank delete panel is, is pretty slick. Um, these are available as well. So now I'll just going to put this in here. Now you'll notice, um, well, some of these, uh, interceptors may have an extra little harness plugged in right here. That's just plugged into nothing. Um, that will actually plug in to the module that's usually in here. Uh, if you can add in powered lift gate, but I don't think the 13s had it. Um, I don't know if any of the newer ones did, uh, but I know some of the base model explorers do have that plug there. This one does not, uh, which is unfortunate, um, but no worries. Now, in order to get the fog lights to work, and I think to get the daytime running lights to work, you do need to hook up 4Scan uh, and get that to work. I may be wrong about on the auto, but on the fog lights, you do have to hook up 4Scan. Assuming your harness is there, uh, is present. If it's not present, you're going to have to run a new one uh, to the PCM, or, or I think the BCM. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if these are even going to be present or not, but if nothing else, I can figure out what pins they are and um, hotwire the switch. So at least I have the option though. Now removing this is super simple. Um, first off, you're going to want to remove this panel that goes under here and that's held in with a few little, I think they're seven or eight millimeter screws uh, and then it pops off. I've already done that and this is just pressure fit on but with clips. So let me open the door here pops out you may need to remove the panel that goes right here as well i can't remember but i've had it off for a while and then you just unplug it see that's that uh where that harness will be plugged into that's uh, just a, a spot a placeholder for it uh, if yours has that you may be able to add in the power lift gate and uh, enable tow mode but mine does not even have that harness plugged in so not an option and then this is just as simple as it seems. Just plug it in and then snap it up. And there's our new panel with auto lights and the little spacer plate underneath it. I think it looks pretty good, looks factory. And uh, now we can have our auto lamps.